Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue with your wireless adapter or an access point and it's not working properly. Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu. Type in Control Panel. Best result, should go back with Control Panel listed right above App. So go ahead and left click on that to open it up. Set your view by over here in the top right corner to category view and select network and internet. Select view network status and task. Select where it says set up a new connection or network. Select on the left side where it says change adapter settings. And then whatever your internet type is over here on the right, you want to go ahead and right click on it. And if it's disabled, you want to enable it. So just for example, I just disabled this one here. You want to go ahead and right click on it and enable it if that's your internet connection. And then give it a moment. And it should be working. And if you right click on it and it says disabled and you're given the option to disable it, which means it's working now. Another thing you try here, if you open up the star menu, type in device manager. Best result, should go back with device manager, so go ahead and open that up. Double click on the network adapter section, and then right click on whatever your internet connection type is down here, and select update driver, select browse my computer for drivers, and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select whichever one's applicable. If you have more than one, you can select the manufacturer specific one over the generic one. However, I only have one to pick from, so that's the one I'm going to go with. And then I'm going to select next. And then should say it has successfully updated your drivers. Go ahead and click on close. Close out of here. One favorite thing we can do if we open up the star menu and type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Into this elevated command line window, you're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS exactly how it appears on my screen. So again, ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter on your keyboard to run this command. It should come back with successfully flushed a DNS resolver cache. Next command you want to type in is netsh space winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset. So again, N-E-T-S-H space Winsock space reset. Hit enter on your keyboard. You will need to reset your computer in order to complete the reset. So go ahead and close out of here. And let's go ahead and restart our system. And there you go, guys. Simple as that. So hopefully that was a pretty straightforward tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.